So today we are going to be looking at adding S or ES to verbs. Yesterday we talked about subject and a verb agreement and part of that was adding S to when we were looking at singular subjects and singular verbs. Now we're going to have to decide when we add S or ES. So real quick, which one is the correct way to spell rushes? So the big question is, when do you add S and when do you add ES to a verb? We know that singular subjects like the cat runs away from the dog needs to have an S for the verb. The cat is the singular subject. We're talking about one cat and the verb runs has the S. But we're going to be looking at sentences like the second one. Nina rushes along the path. Nina is a singular subject, but it has to have a singular verb. In this case, we had to add ES. When we have plural subjects and plural verbs, we have sentences like the cats run away from the dog. We know that cats is plural, there's more than one, so we need a plural verb, run. Same thing with the second sentence, the girls rush along the path. The subject, girls, is plural, there's more than one, so we need the plural verb, rush. We don't add anything to that word, rush. So again, when do we add S and when do you add ES to a verb? Well, there is a rule. There are a couple words that we get to add ES to. You are going to be looking at the end of the word. And if the word ends with S, E or SH, CH, X, or Z, you're going to add ES. So for example, the word kiss ends with an S. So we're going to say kisses by adding the ES. The word splash ends with SH. So to make it splashes, we're going to add the ES. The word watch ends in CH. So we're going to add ES to the word watch to make it watches. The word fix ends with X. So we're going to add the ES to make it fixes. The word buzz ends with a Z. So we're going to add ES to make it buzzes. Now there is one more special category that gets an ES, but these are words that end with a Y. And anytime a verb ends with a Y and we have to add the ES because it's a singular verb, we're going to have to drop the Y off and add IES. So we're changing the Y to I and then adding ES. So my word hurry has the Y at the end. We're going to change that Y to an I and then make add ES, making it hurries. Don't forget, plural verbs do not have an S or an ES. So even though you might see a verb that has one of those special endings, we might not always need to add S or ES. For example, the bees buzz around flowers looking for nectar. Bees is a plural subject, so we need a plural verb, buzz. We don't add ES. The second one, movers. The movers carry the boxes carefully. Movers is the plural now or subject meaning more than one mover. The verb is carry. We don't have to say carries on this one, so we're not changing the Y to I and adding ES. We just leave it carry. 
All right, so let's do some practicing together, adding S and ES to verbs. Sentence number one, our mom teach or teaches us how to hike safely. Mom is the subject. You should have picked teaches because mom is a singular subject. We're going to add ES because the word teach has CH at the end. So the sentence should be mom teaches us how to hike safely. Number two, these containers latch or latches onto my bike. You should have picked latch. These containers latch onto my bike. The subject containers is plural, meaning more than one. So our verb has to be plural as well. We don't add ES to latch. Number three, my dog finish or finishes his dinner before I do. You should have picked finishes because dog is singular. It is one dog. And when we have a singular subject, we have to have a singular verb. So we add ES to finishes. It ends in SH. So we have finishes with an ES at the end. Number four, the snake hiss or hisses when it sees danger, senses danger. You should have picked hisses. The snake is a singular noun, so we add a singular verb, which means we add ES to the word hiss because it ends with an S. And number five, the girl carry or the girl carries her supplies into school. You should have picked carries. The girl is singular, so we need a singular verb. We make carry a singular verb by changing the Y to an I and adding ES. The girl carries her supplies into school. We're going to look at a different type of grammar problem. I'm going to read this paragraph to you and then I have a question. The Komodo dragon. The largest lizard in the world is the Komodo dragon. Komodo dragons live on four islands of Indonesia. They use their tongue in order to find prey by smell. A Komodo dragon weighs up to 200 pounds. They is the heaviest lizard on earth. They can run up to 13 miles an hour. Komodo dragons have long flat heads with rounded snouts, scaly skin, bowed legs, and huge muscular tails. We are going to take what we have been learning about subject and verb agreement, and we are going to find um, a specific sentence and check to see if it's correct. So, you are going to look at sentence number two, and you're going to decide. Should you change lives to live? B, change islands to island. C, change Komodo to Komodos. Or D, make no change at all. You should have picked A, change lives to live. When we look at this sentence, Komodo dragons lives on four islands of Indonesia is not correct. We're looking at the subject um, Komodo dragons. So this is my subject Komodo dragons. It is a plural subject because it has the S. It means more than one. So my verb has to be plural as well. It should just be live. We don't have the S on that. Komodo dragons live on four islands of Indonesia.